the Lord message to his people in the island of Martinique. He exhorts his people to holiness, mutual forgiveness, love, humility, these are the slogans of God to a people who are foreign to his thought, he is a woman who comes to the house of God, this woman is provided with a cloth and a broom to clean the house of her God, this woman is a virgin, this woman loves her God, she enjoys hearing and listening to him in the silence of her heart, this woman is attentive to her God and she cleans this house with fidelity and attention. Behold a man who enters the house of God, this man had walked in the paths of injustice, his shoes are soiled with mud, his hands has touched the prostitutes, and on his hands is the mark of his defilement, this man is bare bust, he enters the house of God, I am near this virgin, I am attentive to his pain, and I love to see his faithfulness and his love for me, this man enters the house of God, from his shoes he sows defilement in the house of the Lord, with his hands. Then he touches the walls of the house of the Lord with his hands that is stained with impurity, he touches the cup, the bread of the meal of the Lord, as a result this virgin is saddened to see that all his work is thus undone, to see that the more she cleans this house and the more this man make it dirties, he defiles it and does not respect the work of the Spirit, thus say the Lord, my spirit of holiness has been sown among you, this spirit pushes you to holiness pushes you to sanctification, pushes you to complete obedience to the word of God, but your heart is hard and you are like that man, you defile the house of God, you defile the bread of God, you defile the cup of God, and know that I am a patient God and I call again, but I will clean this house, in the image of this virgin I will clean without fatigue, without murmur and without anger, but there is a day coming when the bridegroom of this virgin will come he will enter this house and he will be armed with the sword of the holiness of the Spirit of God, and he will break this man, he will break him from head to foot. Not one of his hair will be standing on his head, I will give back respect to holy things, so understand that likewise this virgin cleans this house, I will clean my church again and again, so understand that as the virgin also twists this cloth in order to bring out this dirty water, likewise I will twist my church. I twist my people. I will twist my saints so that this stain, impurity and filthy water come out and you will be holy, I will give this people this holiness, I will give it to you whether you wish it at or not, I will twist you my people and dirty water will come out, my people, you are so hard to listen to the voice of God, I visit your homes one after the other, I visit you and I see how you live, I see how you speak, I see the thoughts of your hearts, I suffer be faithful to my voice, I gave you so much. I have given you orders and direction, but to this day how many are moving in the direction I have show, you are aware that your God is speaking, you are happy and you are eager to come and hear the rising voice of your God, but you are so slow to obey, I have placed pillars that will carry you again, they will still carry you in my way, and there will be a day when I will come as this husband where I will ask for account. What I want from my people says the Lord, is sanctification, when my people sanctify themselves say the Lord, you shall see in the midst of this people great things, saith Jehovah and I will manifest my glory, make sure that in your heart there is nothing stained, negative, do not come near my table in this morning if in your heart there are unclean things, if there are negative things, if sin reigns in you, do not approach this table. Do not approach this bread which represents my body, brother, the Lord is still calling, the Lord has come again to this house on this day, by his Holy Spirit. Such is the word of the Lord to the church, I am a sweet spirit, let him that will hear me, that he may close his ears to external things, and that he may return to his heart, may he who will hear the voice of the Spirit, may seek him in the sweetness of the morning, this is where I am, in silence in the silence of the sincere heart, this is where I speak, respect my spirit because it is yours. My spirit is your heritage. I left it. Adore this spirit, love this spirit, respect this spirit, do not sadden this spirit, do not sadden him, do not grieve him because his heart is the heart of God, the, the heart of the infant on the breast of his mother, give your heart and the spirit will remain on you, the sweetness of God is on the people of God, the gentleness of God, for the one who is sincere and the one who is contrite and humble before God, the words of the Lord.
how my people bind my hands and prevent them from acting among them, how my people shut their door on me, that day, the Lord ordered me to stand before his people with my hands tied, he wanted to symbolize the consequence of the hardening of his children, let's meditate on this symbol, how many times do we claim and want the presence, the miracles of God, the sweet dew of the Holy Spirit, and refuse to fulfill his directives, how many of his children are more ready to receive from him than to give him, and even doubt his faithfulness when he remains silent in trials, have the body of Christ become a spoiled child? Ever more demanding from the Lord and refusing to return to him what is his right? Like a light breeze blowing after an impetuous wind, the Lord calls, after taking back his children, to respect and to taste the sweetness of the Comforter, the Holy Spirit, Church, listen to these words and question yourself. You are my children, I am in your midst this morning, you are worshipping me, you ask so much love to each other, you do not want to ask forgiveness from one another, break that pride, ask each other for forgiveness, the words of the Lord to his people, the Lord is looking for a house where the door is opened for him, thus say the Lord, I'm looking for a house, I'm walking and I'm looking for a place to stay, listen to God's sweetness, listen to the whispering of the Spirit of God, the Lord is moving here and there, but every day the doors are shut for him, thus say the Lord, I will not force those doors that are shut, but I will find myself a house where the door will be opened for me, this is the word of God to his people, many times I have passed your houses, how many times have I come, how many times I showed up and found your door closed, how many times, it is to this that you have arrived by force of your hardness of heart, the prophet shows his bound hands, retain this message from the Spirit of God, I am a spirit who walks from the sunrise to sunset, I am walking and I am looking for sincere hearts, humbled hearts, contrite hearts to receive the message of my God, I am a spirit of sweetness, a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of meekness, I will never break the door that are close against me, by your hardness you have come to tie the hands of God, you have tied the hands of God. And you seek miracles, healings and mighty works. But how can I operate? You have tied my hand with your hard biz, it is you who have attached me. It is you who have kept me. It is you, how much my heart loves my people, how my heart is ready for those who are truly sincere, humble of heart, I am a God of sweetness, a God of love, a God of peace, a God of reconciliation but this morning, see to what ends the hardness of you has led you, I teach you so that you receive these things, and so that no one come in this path of hardness in which you had put yourself, people of God, I love you for I have redeemed you, I redeemed you at the price of the sacrifice on the wood. See where the hardness of the heart can take a man, I've dumped so much and I'm ready to dump again, but do not hold and tie my hand, open this door so that I come back because I stand by your side. I spent a long time walking, I visited my people for a long time and I looked for hearts that could bear my pain, I finally found those hearts, and my heart was filled with joy and gladness. Because there is a hope in this church, the heart of this twelve men are the hope of God for the country of Martinique, in those twelve I have placed my trust, for they have a contrite heart, let your hearts be holy unto Jehovah, may your spirits be whole to Jehovah, turn your gaze around you turn your gaze towards your brother and sister, see in them the image of God. See this brother and sister as the image of God, each of you bears the image of God, you bear the image of God in my spirit, do not tear yourself apart, but love yourself. This morning the Lord is ready, the Lord is ready for him who humbles himself, and he who pardons, this is the way of salvation, pardon, mercy, this is the path of salvation, mercy of God for men mercy of the Spirit for men, mercy of the Lamb for his anointed ones, but do not shut the door because I will come and I will not force the door, but I will go on and I will find myself a house where this door will be opened, where this open door will be presented before my feet, and I will return, I will return and I will put my house in the middle of this house, I will seek a house where I will be invited, the word of the Spirit to the people of God, this message is about the Lord's Supper, God calls his people to respect this sacrament, an exhortation is still given to his children, vigilance in the smallest details of their lives, sanctification and respect in the presence of God, 
a slight allusion is made to the work of sanctification that the Father will perform in his church before his return, this cup and this bread bears the mark of God, this cup and this bread is God. God in his people, God among you, know that whoever will rise and take this cup unworthily, this cup will be for him a gall that he will absorb and the ulcer, the ulcer will burn his entrails, respect, respect in the house of God, take care not to play with the Lord, take care not to play with the flame of God, whoever takes this cup unworthily will sign a sentence for himself, the Lord has placed his holiness among his people, you will sign this condemnation against yourself. I am a God who heals, a God who heals, but when my people go beyond the limit of what I called them for, when my people go beyond my restriction I will not heal them, meditate on these things, let this meal not be a condemnation, you must be united to one another by this cup, by this bread, united to the Lord, do not tear apart what God has united, do not try to tear apart what the Lord has joined together, on this day in the morning I was standing near the Lord's table. This Sunday, March 13, the Lord spoke to the people through the mouths of two of his servants, James and I, holiness remains the key and the imperative for those who wish to see the face of their God, in this message the Lord exhort us to be aware of the presence of his Holy Spirit in us, the Lord's Supper is re-emphasized, on that day of supper, the Lord asked me to go near the brothers serving the meal and to prevent them from going to the brothers in the ranks, the Lord said, the people had to rise from their seat and step forward to take the bread and the wine that was presented to them semicolon this is symbolic of the words utters in this prophecy, a facet ignored by some is brought to light here, let the hungry come and serve himself. Thus say the Lord to the people, today you will move, you will rise and extend your hands to serve yourself, I give you my heart, serve yourself if you are hungry, I want you to stand up and come to serve yourself in turn. I am standing in the midst of you, may the hungry person advance his foot and serve himself, I will not move to you, no one will come to you because you have been used to it too long, you've been used to be served too much, but in this morning, if you are hungry, step forward and serve yourself, for your God will no longer serve you, but you will serve your God, your God will not serve you may these things be engraved in your heart, if you are still heavy and hard, you are making your Lord suffer. This morning it is necessary to lay down this burden of sin, put it down and advance before you, if you still keep it know that no blessing will come to you, whoever is still hungry? The one that is still hunger for justice, holiness, communion? Which of you is still hungry? Take and drink this bread and wine. But beware that it is not a judgment that you drink, that it is not a judgment that you eat, for the Lord is in this bread and in this wine the Lord is present among you, keep your holiness before Jehovah. Submit yourself to God, do not come near this morning if in your heart there are unclean things, if in your heart there are negative things, if sin reigns in you, do not approach this table of the Lord, do not approach this bread which represents my body this bread is a food, if you cannot bear it then know, know that your God is saddened this morning, your God is bleeding, his suffering is great. You tell me that you want to serve me but you cannot get rid of it, you tell me that you want to follow me on my path but you do not even want to move, you are hard of heart. My wound is not yet closed, my people, you are my suffering you are a pain for me, the prophet began to cry bitterly, see the tears that flow for you, I wish you were in my image, I would like you to be faithful and attentive to my voice, did you not do enough by nailing me? Did you not do enough by spitting on me? hurting me? Have you not done enough? I called a hard people and I hope in the wisdom of this people, I hope that one day your heart will be a heart of flesh, take this food, take the suffering of your God, the sadness and the suffering of God. He suffers from the fact that his disciples are so little attentive to his voice that his house is visited by many men who are not sensitive to his holiness, the Lord suffers from the fact that many of his children are not aware of his presence in their intimacy and play a comedy worthy of the Pharisees of Jerusalem. When they are in the assembly of saints, let's be careful of the routine. My holiness must remain in my house because my house is sanctified, I live in this house by my spirit, I have sanctified this house, and this house is sanctified by my presence, my presence sanctifies it, 
sanctify yourself because without my sanctification no one will see my face, judgment will begin with my house, I have said that you are the light of the world, I have chose you as the salt of this world, here you are lacking flavor, but this morning I want to renew in you the flavor, in this morning I want to consume by my fire what is in you that is not of my glory, confess your sins and your transgressions and I will heal you and I will bless you, confess your hidden faults and I will heal you, I will sanctify you, I will purify you because I want you to be a model in the eyes of my servants, a model in the eyes of your children, a model in the eyes of your neighbors, a model in the eyes of this people, the salt that I have chosen for this land, the salt that I have chosen for this earth, the light that I have chosen, for I do not want you to be hidden under a bushel, I want you to shine above the hill, in the mountain of Zion you will shine, let your light descend to the bottom of the valleys, to the deepest parts of the valleys, to the plain of Jericho, as far as the plain of Moab, I want your light to shine like the morning star, like the star that led this shepherd, I want you to shine and to illuminate this world, this lost world, this perverted world, this world that is there in the darkness of the night, I want you to shine so that they see this light, see the way they must go out into the desert, out from the valley of the shadow of death, confess your sins one another and you will see that I will open the windows of heaven, I will set my fire, I will put my flame in this church, I will put my fire in all its power, the world will know that I am the Lord, the God of armies, the God of Isaac, the God of Abraham, holy must be the body in which I have placed my spirit. You say that the heart is the temple of the Holy Spirit, I tell you that your body is my house, your body is my house, I live in this temple, I live in this temple which is your heart, this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, do not defile this temple, keep this tent sanctified, keep this body purified, from the blood of my son, I have washed you from the blood of my son, I have cleansed you with the blood of my son and I dressed you in white clothes, whiter than the snow, let those of my people who have soiled this garment come near to the blood of the lamb, wash this garment, from now on, try to keep it pure because I'll be back soon, soon the bridegroom will come to get his church, soon the bridegroom will come for his wife that is his holy, he wants to find his bride as holy as he is holy, this morning, I'm still calling you, take and eat. Be holy before God, keep your heart for your God, may your tongue be linked to your God, may your home be the house of God, this morning, I'm still calling you, take and eat. Be holy before God, keep your heart for your God, put your youth in the service of the Lord your God, be wise in the eyes of God, sweetness to your God, obedience to your God. Be sincere in the house of God, let not your heart be double before God, holy, holy for your God. Humility for your God. Be wise in your house as you are in that of God, be the strength of your God. The Lord has spoken, the Lord has opened his mouth to proclaim and to make his voice heard, this morning, be wise, be aware of the presence of God, not only in the middle under this roof but in the middle of your houses, among your brothers, be wise. I want this wisdom, I desire this wisdom. I gave these words to my servant this morning, they are spirit and whoever wants to understand them, he will be spirit and he will understand them, I will not give any meaning, I will give no other translation than this one, that this one, if your heart is spirit, you will know these things, but if your heart is flesh then these things will be mysteries for you, the word of the Lord has been brought.